again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 24th of January, 2019. You know, I've posted a series of videos that I've given folks a number of reasons to leave California. Well, here's another one. Article on CBS San Francisco Bay Area. California considering placing a mileage tax on drivers. This was posted on December the 11th, 2017. Hmm. Interesting, is it not? I think it's going to soon come to fruition. And what's interesting is that California especially gave incentives, as do all states now, on anyone that buys an electric vehicle. And the incentives were fairly significant. And the reason they gave these incentives is to get people to buy electric cars. And the reason they wanted to buy electric cars is because they wanted to save the environment and they wanted to reduce the volume of gasoline that's purchased. Well, that's really not true because they keep raising the gas tax, so they want you to keep buying gasoline. Well, it appears that the Democratic lawmakers stay awake at night trying to figure out how to screw their citizens. They've gone ahead and they've legalized marijuana, as have a number of other states, and that isn't generating the kind of revenue that they had expected, but it's still generating revenue. One of the reasons it isn't generating the revenue that they expected is because of the high taxes that they're charging the growers and most people that sell it. California is moving closer to charging drivers for every mile they drive. The state says it needs more money for road repairs and the gas tax just isn't bringing enough revenue. By the way, they just raised it again. The state recently road tested a mileage monitoring plan. The California Road Charge pilot program is billed as a way for the state to move or from its long-standing pump tax to a system where drivers pay based on their mileage. Well, what they're going to do is they're going to end up doing both. But it's not just a question about money, it's also a question about fairness. State Senator Scott Weiner and others are saying that when it comes to road taxes, it's time to start looking at charging you by the mile rather than by the gallon. Again, they're going to do both. If you own an older vehicle that is fueled by gas, you're paying gas tax to maintain the roads. Someone who has an electric vehicle is dramatically more fuel efficient vehicle is paying much less than you are, but they're still using the roads, Wiener said. People are going to use less and less gas in the long run, according to Wiener. And less gas means less gas tax and less money for road repairs. We want to make sure that all cars are paying to maintain the roads, Wiener said. One idea would be installing a device that would clock your mileage every time you pull up to a pump or electric car charging station or put a tracker on every car. The reality is that if you have a smartphone, your data or where you are traveling is already in existence, Wiener said. None of this is sitting well with drivers such as Josh Lai, the owner of a hybrid BMW. Lai said he saves around 200 a month by not using gas and says he would definitely not be happy if his driving were taxed per mile. Well, Lai, you might not be happy, but you're going to get nailed. Everybody in California is going to get nailed. Randy Reichler of the Metropolitan Transportation Commission said one answer is to raise the gas tax and up the vehicle registration fee for electric cars. I'll tell you why they're going to do both. They're going to do both because there's a lot of people that visit California from Nevada, from Arizona, from pretty much all of the United States. And those vehicles wouldn't be subject to the kind of additional surcharges by having devices installed in their cars or their cars tracked 
through their cell phones or any other means, which is why they're going to do both. They're going to maintain a high gas tax and they're going to charge every vehicle based on mileage. If you buy a small car that gets great fuel economy, we don't get enough money to repair the roads. But the fact of the matter is people are buying trucks, Ryder said. However, raising vehicle registration fees and taxing people with fuel efficient hybrid electric vehicles could also discourage people from purchasing such vehicles. Fuel efficient hybrid electric vehicles are key to reducing vehicle emissions and improving air quality around the world. So you catch 22, huh? First, they convince you to buy electric vehicles by giving you significant tax breaks. Actually, it's rebates. And then, they nail you. Like I said, they stay awake at night figuring out how to screw people. Now, California is always known as the leader. Whatever they do, other states are going to follow. No different than the marijuana. What's going to happen is other states are going to recognize a new source of revenue. And again, you know, I did a video a couple of years ago and I talked about taxes and I listed over 100 taxes. 100. And there's many more that I didn't list. Like I said, they stay awake at night figuring out how to screw us so they can continue living the life of luxury like Nancy Pelosi and the 67 people she was going to take on that junket with, well, rather expensive alcohol for her guests that you're paying for. Totally insane. What has to happen is what I said has to happen. What has to happen is term limits have to be placed on all elected officials and they can't jump from one to the other the way Jeffrey DeFlake the flake from Snowflake did, 10 years as a congressman and 6 years as a senator. The whole thing's a joke. You have to ask yourself another question. How do people working to serve the American people end up multi-millionaires? A large percentage of the elected officials that came into office with bupkis. You know what bupkis is? Nothing have amassed millions of dollars. Barack Obama and Big Mike, they're worth well over $40 million. How is that possible? Mitch McConnell's and his wife, they're incredibly wealthy. They all are. Chucky Schumer, Maxine Waters, you name it. Getting on the gravy train as an elected representative is a ticket to immense wealth. But that's a different story. I transgressed. I apologize for that. Like I said, folks, if you live in California, bend over. You're going to get it right up the ass again by your elected representatives. You think not? You're not thinking. Watch the embedded video. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Call a moving company. Get the hell out of there. Thanks for listening.